What up? I've been fasting now for five days. That's five days of no food and one day of no water. That's a lot. It's, it's very fascinating to watch hunger disappear. It just goes away. You, okay, my body is now eating the fat that's on it. That is nice. Um, today is day five, and I have been doing a dry fast all day. Um, interesting. It's, it's, uh, it's very different. Um, I think I'll honestly break it at sundown and have another 24 hours of water fasting before doing a two-day dry fast Thursday to Friday. That will bring the total fast days to nine. And I feel very strongly about this. I'm very confident that I'll make it through all nine days with zero complications. Um, Health-wise, it's been amazing. Uh, just an update for my last video. It hasn't solved the ringing in my ears. But it has solved a lot of other issues. Um, I will give you a full list of those at the end of the fast. Uh, if I were to recommend it to anyone, halfway through right now, if I were to recommend it to anyone, why would I do that? The clarity of thought that it gives you is very intense. Um, you have so much time, so much focus, so much ability to get work done. Uh, you don't have to eat. In cases like mine today, during a dry fast, you don't have to drink anything. You, so you can you can just sit and get your work done. That's nice. You go to the bathroom a lot less. A lot less. You still pee every now and then, but that's to be expected. You're human, right? Um, there is such a calm that comes with it because all of the little stressors in your life... Who cares? Why well, they don't matter? They don't matter at all. You, you realize you have this constant tread of anxiety running in the background. This this ability to pick up on the smallest detail and make it in from a molehill into a mountain, and it it doesn't need to be. That's not necessary. You can just let the little things go, and it's amazing how effortless that is just from not eating. Who knew? Who knew? I've got plenty of fat on my body. I'm very, very safe during all this. I haven't lost any strength. Uh, been to the gym twice now and had it after fat adapting because the, the first little bit, you, you're still hungry. You're very uh, irritable. <laughs> the fiance and I, we have a lot of patience for each other. But we've noted how we're both a little snappy at each other. <laughs> uh, so after that period passes, right, you become a little more fat adapted. Your body is eating what's already on it. It's so calming. Everything. I'm so relaxed right now. I've gotten so much done in the past five days. Still a mountain of work to do, but like I said not worried about it it's gonna get done seems <laughs> like everything's so chill um 100 sober there's no drugs or alcohol in this video it's just lack of food and lack of water today which will change tonight um i'll leave some links down below for you to check out any of the resources i've been looking at um I would highly recommend this to anyone who's looking to either cut weight, um, heal any kind of shit in their body, anything you got going on, eventually fasting can lead around to healing it. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much more on that. You look into it yourself. But uh, yeah, check it out. Maybe it's for you. Maybe you can do it. If you can get past those first three days, you'll be fine. I think that's it. Just kind of a little update as we go through the week. I'll be posting a few more videos this week. We'll see where the fast takes us, what we want to talk about. How's your day been? Join me on this fast. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, 
man. Okay, so we broke our fast last night and went out for some food because we were all kinds of frustrated with each other. Um, it was very... It, w it was not like us, okay, to talk to each other the way we were, to act the way we were. It was just... I don't know. It, it, it felt like we were in a place that was very aggressive towards each other. So we decided, hey, let's break our fast. It's been five days. We completed the fifth day and we sat down, had a small little refeed meal. And uh, here we are. What is it now? Oh, it's the next day in the afternoon. And I, I've been doing a dry fast since eating. Uh, and I'm about to break that because we are going to go shopping and then to the gym. And I'm, I'm not going to work out on a dry fast. Forget that. But uh, I haven't drank anything now for quick math in your head. About another 18 hours. So here is the first bit of water. I've got some water. A hint of potassium chloride and sodium chloride. And uh, a little bit of baking soda. Um... Let's try the first sip of water in quite a while. Oh my God. So the flavor is kind of like pool water. I'm not a big fan, but the water itself, <sighs> it's like <laughs> the texture is, is it's like little fingers caressing my tongue. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. That is so good. This morning we, oh, I, you should try water. Have you tried water yet? It's amazing. So if you haven't tried these fasts, I would, I would highly recommend them. Give up food for one day, just 24 hours. Don't, don't stop drinking things. If you haven't worked up to that, you, you're not going to do well. Just don't eat for one day. See what happens. It's kind of amazing. And I would highly recommend it. Um, we were really happy with our five-day spree. That was good. It was totally on a whim. Like, we didn't plan it. We just dove in. And you're like, look at five days. Ah! <laughs> That's just how we are, I guess. So, more updates to come. And, yeah, you'll hear more about it. God, drink some water. Oh my goodness. So a little update. It is now day two after our refeed. And uh, you just saw me break that dry fast of that first day. Um, day two, way easy. I feel no hunger. None. I am so focused. Um, life is really good. I still have food fantasies. I'm still thinking about food I want to eat. Uh <laughs> But physically, totally fine. Had a really good workout in the gym. Feeling great about it. Um, looked up lots of stuff online. Can I have seltzer water? Can I have this like Canada dry, no artificial sugars? There's no artificial flavors. It's carbonated water. And they like spritz a lemon over the top <laughs> kind of thing. Um and and I, I looked up, can I have it? Uh, anyone have any experience with this? Blah, blah, blah. Everything online is like, yeah, totally great. It's wonderful. But I, I drink two of them, you know, hanging out. Nothing against Canada Dry, but uh, I, I drink two. And then I've got to use the restroom. So I do check my keto strips. And the they're, they went from black <laughs> with excess ketones in my blood to pink like really light pink like really low so i'm i'm thinking i'm gonna avoid them um does this necessarily mean that i've been kicked out of fat burning mode no but it's not water or salt water it, it's not helping me towards my goal and i haven't noticed that drop in color with any other beverage that is that includes water basically because i'm not eating anything so anyway, little update, uh, Canada dry seltzer water probably isn't helping you or it's not helping me. So no more fuzzy drinks, mm, fizzy drinks, fuzzy drinks, Ugh, just drinking hair. Gross. On the, uh, on a side note, day two, 
I feel so good about this plan for for my fasting schedule. There's a few days off for celebrations. Some friends are coming to town. We're going to celebrate uh, the life, the upcoming wedding, all kinds of stuff. So there will be a few days of feeding over the next um, 60. Okay, there's a handful of days where food is involved. But otherwise, I'm not eating anything. And I feel great about it. My goal weight is about 10 pounds away. That's less than 10 days, really. So we'll see. In a, in a timeline of 60 days, if I lose another 10 pounds and I'm where I want to be, I can start an OMAD kind of diet. Great. If I'm not there, then just keep going. Every 10 days, I can get a guaranteed 10 pounds. It's usually more than a pound a day. Who doesn't want that kind of simplicity? And once you get to this place, like day two, this is easy. This is a joke. This is this is the natural state of the human body, one of them, either fasting or feasting. And you don't really realize that until you're a few days into fasting. Like This is my... Okay, so not including any of the 24-hour fasts I've done for months and months and months. Uh, this would be day eight of any extended fast that I've completed. So, I mean, give it a week. And after that week, you cake, absolute cake. Anyone can do this. If you need to lose the fat on your body, just fast. And in the gym, zero strength loss, zero. You go into starvation mode when you're eating low calorie, not when you're eating nothing. I was gonna say starving, starvation mode, going to starve. Do it for yourself if you're going to do it. But don't make any more excuses. It's just really exciting. I've been overweight since I was eight. Eight years old, I started packing on weight. And then around the age of 21, I got more into health and fitness and tried to lose some of that weight. And I lost a pretty big chunk of it. And I got down to a place where I was fairly skinny fat. And then I discovered weights. And then I bulked up and wanted to have some muscle on my body and I got a little bit of muscle and still had the fat and you try to lose the fat and gain more muscle and this weird kind of dance back and forth where you never actually change what your physique looks like you just add muscle underneath the layers of fat so now you look a bit more fit but you're still tubby <laughs> you're still jiggly you're still fat <laughs> So it's nice finally making that decision to just like, hey, um, I'm just not going to be fat anymore, like at all, like at all. There's not going to be fat on my body anymore because it's unhealthy, because it's the right choice for me, because I don't want it. And you have to kind of let go of that, that mentality of, but what about all the muscle you've built? A, most of it is spared during the fasting. And B, it'll come back. You can go back to the gym and get wherever you were strength-wise. You get whatever size you want. Your body will be there to work with you. Until then, lose the fat. Get to a place where you're happy and healthy. Like It feels so good knowing that I'm well on my way to my goal. It's a process that works. It's something sustainable. And I'm building my willpower. I'm building discipline every day I stay on this. Kick ass. Okay. It's a lifestyle that works for me. Cool. Have a good day. Oh, my goodness. Made it through a 24-hour dry fast. Had my first dry fast workout today. And... It was okay. Um, Strength-wise, I'm, I'm fine strength-wise, but energy-wise was a little low. And cardio was a bummer. I kept looking for reasons to get off the elliptical. Like, I did. Maybe I can cut it down to two miles. Maybe I could, I'll, I'll set a time now and then I'll get off it. Yeah. No, just do, do your cardio. You promised yourself you do your cardio. You're not nearly weak enough or lightheaded to get off this thing. You're still fine. So, uh, overall, let's see. 
First dry fast, first 24 hour dry fast. How'd it go? Good. It went good. It went very well. Um, not that difficult. Lots of conversation, lots of activity, lost a bunch of weight. Um, <laughs> feeling great. Feeling pretty good. I'm trying to do like what, uh, anything I want to report on it. Not really. It was a normal day. Didn't eat or drink anything. So I've got some water here, water with uh, a handful of different salts and some baking soda in it. And we're gonna break this dry fast. Okay, you ready? I'm just, oh, that water smell. It smells like water. Right here. Wow. It's like you can feel the cells of your tongue and lips just absorb it. It feels like I don't even notice the flavor. It's actually pretty good water. Um, yeah, I'd highly recommend that. Go a few hours without drinking in or eating anything and uh, and drink some water. That's, that's amazing. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so we did those five days. I had a refeed on night five. It's now day eight. And we're going strong. Still nothing to eat other than that refeed. Which was totally overrated, by the way. Like, we, we went to a sushi place. Decent food. But too much flavor. It, it was explosions of flavor in certain tuna rolls. Uh, no, what was it? Tuna tartare. It's really good. It's great, but there was too much going on in the dish. I didn't, I didn't need that much uh, variety of flavor. It, I can taste and feel everything, every texture, every little bit that goes in my mouth. I washed my hands. I guess I didn't rinse them well enough. I started biting my nail. I could feel and taste the texture of soap on my teeth. Like, uh, sensitivity. Uh, oral sensitivity is way up, way up. Sense of smell, way up. I can smell flowers while I'm on my daily walk now, like crazy from 20 yards away. It's, it's amazing. Um, but yeah, that meal was just overrated. So, which is sad. Love sushi, but probably won't get it anytime soon. Cause if, if I'm going to be eating really rarely, I want those, those refeed meals to be special, special. You gotta whisper it because you love them because you're addicted to food special is that the face you make to things that you like that's my mating face apparently mm. <laughs> all right talk to you later bye and if I'm